Okay, hey there, back here, myself, Alan, with TractorTips.com, and uh, yeah, I'm keeping going with this theme, so uh, I'm not going to let you guys down here, and i uh, going to keep making some videos. Um, after the one I posted a couple days ago, um, asking you guys about videos, I've had a lot of requests, uh, a lot of feedback on the comments there under the video, so I really appreciate that. Um, uh, lots of different things, so I'm just going to work through them see what comes up, see what most people are requesting, and then try and work with that. Um, so if uh, is anyone out there that hasn't already gone and commented on that last video, please do so. Go and write down any videos you want me to see, uh, or sorry, want me to make, and I will uh, get, get those out there to you as soon as I can. So um, it's raining super hard right now, so I hope the sound quality is all right for you and you're not hearing too much rain. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just throw together a video here for you anyway um, and see how it goes. So what I'm going to do is just the other day, like four days ago or so, I decided my computer wasn't running very well, so I just went for a clean install. So I have a completely clean installation of the operating system on my Mac. Um, I had been doing like time machine backups for a number of years and uh, upgraded computers and changed computers and just constantly upgraded through the time machine. But there was all sorts of glitches and uh, I was using Ableton the other day and there was a problem. And when I was on uh, to support, they explained that I needed to delete some uh, plist preference files and uh, I went to try and find them and they, they weren't there. So there was clearly an error somewhere in the system. So I decided to go ahead and just get a go complete clean install on uh, on the Mac. So um, so I've got a great setup right now. I have just downloaded a fresh uh, version of Tractor, but I haven't even opened it yet. So um, bef just as a word of warning for anyone that's going to do a clean install, I'm not going to show you how to do a clean install because there's plenty of information out there um, on various Apple Mac websites that will show you how to do it. Um, but if you do do it, you need to manually back everything up ahead of time. So I did that. Um, make sure you got all your serial numbers from Tractor and, and whatnot. You can go back onto Tractor website on Native Instruments website, go to your downloads folder, get the, um, uh, the Native Access program, and then um, you can type in your serial numbers and whatever else and get all your software back that way. So <clears throat> I've downloaded uh, Tractor, haven't opened it yet. And the other thing to remember if you're backing up is your uh, music. So making sure that your music folder and your, your sort of backup of your Tractor files is saved manually somewhere else. So you can come back to the same setup. Now, I use uh, an external hard drive for my music and I've done many different things in the past, but uh, what I've done most recently is use iTunes um, to sort out the music. So everything goes through iTunes and then I just connect Tractor to iTunes. So I can just go and organize playlists in iTunes if I don't want to DJ and deal with, um, uh, deal with Tractor and I just want to use iTunes. I just use that to organize playlists and whatever and then sync that up with iTunes. Now there's pros and cons for that which I cover in um, my uh, basics course which you can get on Udemy there's links on my tractor tips website uh, to that um, go into real depth in into that but just for recently because I've been doing a radio show um, that needed mp3s and whatnot I just went for the quick simple option of using iTunes so uh, because of that as well I needed to take my um, my laptop or my hard drive to the radio station I just went straight with a I just have a little uh, one terabyte hard drive external. All my music's on that, and I've got an external iTunes library on there. So in order for me to open iTunes and access my music, I have to have this external hard drive connected. So uh, what I thought would be a good idea is to show you what it's like to open up iTunes, uh, open up Tractor with a completely clean install and where you need to go with that. So 
yes, so make sure you've got all the backup files and I'll show you what you need. So let's go ahead and uh, see how this all works. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, make sure that my external hard drive is connected. I've uh, downloaded already the native access stuff. So that's all on here ready to go. Uh, and that's what I use to re-download my Tractor program. So I now have Tractor Pro 2 installed on this system. The other documents that I needed, um, if I go into Finder here, I'll show you what I've put them, is uh, Documents, Native Instruments, and then there's all this backup stuff here. Um, the latest one, and this is where all the TSI files and everything is that you create. This is what you wanted to drag to an external hard drive if you're doing a clean install and make sure you put it back on the hard drive on your new computer because this is what net, what uh, Tractor will be reading from to make sure that the settings that you have or you had in the previous one are the same uh, when you bring Tractor forward here. So that's good, that's good to go. And then my hard drive is connected, which is where my music will be in iTunes. Now, I've also uh, already connected iTunes by holding down Option and clicking iTunes. You'll get this message to say, choose your library. You hit choose library and go to the library that you have saved on your external. But I've already set that up. So that's done. So let's, uh, let's see if Tractor uh, opens up here. It's my first time, so uh, open it up since the move, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's sending me through the wizard for connecting whatever I need to do. Um, so I'm going to work through this. At the moment, I'm not going to be connecting. I'm just going to go quickly through this one. Let's just go super quick. It doesn't matter because we're going to direct Tractor to our pre-existing information. So now we're going to go to... So this is like having a completely clean install of Tractor. So like as it comes out the box, right? So I'm going to go to settings and then file management. And then I'm going to find the root directory for this. So here it is. And it's already set up to where it needs to be. In here, I just want to check that it's set up to the right iTunes. So this is going music iTunes. So that's not the library I want to use. So I'm going to change this. It's on my external. It's in shared iTunes in here. And then iTunes library XML. So I'm going to fire that one in there. So now it's recognized it as that's where I need to be. Okay, so we'll close that down. Now I should have my iTunes in here, no problem. Okay, so that's all my iTunes stuff in there. And now I need to double check whether my controllers are all set up in here. So I don't have anything there. So I need to find my original tractor sample directory or tractor root directory. So for some reason, what I'm thinking is happening here is, uh, let's just go into documents, native instruments. Let's see how many backups this has. So this just has a few. So this is a brand new installation. So I need to go and find um, my previous files that I've saved in my uh, other backup disk. So I'm just going to go and do that, find that on my uh, other external, and then I'll bring those into this area here. Okay, so now what you see, what I've just figured out here, so I realize now that uh, this folder that it was automatically bringing to was the brand new install, the point two of uh, Tractor 2.11.2. So it's 
as it was a fresh install, it created this new directory as 2.11.2. Uh, must be an update from the previous one here. So it, as it keeps all the backups in history, I just need to go to this one and uh, set that track to TSI settings. So um, I'm going to go back into here, go to file management, and now we're going to hit the root directory here, and we're going to change it to this one, which is the one I was using previously, and we'll select this as the root directory okay we'll choose that tractor needs to be restarted we'll click ok watch that restart okay so what's happened here is because i've changed my username from inspiral to al churchill um, when i change computers it's not actually installing properly so let's have a look here please enter the path to the database Okay, we're going to just choose this one right here, which is already set up. Okay. And now we should have my old database back. And they're all there. Let's just check inside my system preferences and see if I can see my controllers that I have all saved. Exactly. So we're back on. Just takes a little bit of working around, making sure you find the right uh, path towards your old library and uh, your old root directory. And we'll just have another check here and uh, see what else is happening in the file management. So I've now set my my user, my root directory as my user, and that, and that is the documents native instruments, which is all set up. I went back down to the 2.11.1 instead of the 0.2, so that's all set now. And then I've set my iTunes music library to my external. This is the settings that I had in that previous library at 11.1. Uh, so we're all set back to how we left off when I had my old computer. So ready to rock. Okay, so uh, hopefully that's helped you out and uh, you're able to see um, what happens when you s install a fresh version of Tractor and what files you need in order to make that all work so you're not missing anything when you start your clean install or get a new computer or whatever you're going to do move tractor to a completely different computer um, that's pretty much how you do it and what you need to do so uh thanks for watching uh, keep the suggestions coming in the comments below um, share like and uh, all that good stuff and uh yeah i'll keep the videos coming for you guys so uh thanks so much